Happy Friday, everyone. Um, first of all, I apologise for not giving these updates the last two weeks before Easter. However, I am back and I'd like to welcome back the students and yourselves to Hashtag Team Made Nearly. I hope everyone has had a relaxing Easter break. Despite the very indifferent weather, I think is the best way to describe it. I certainly didn't expect to wake up to snow on one of those mornings, but there we go. But anyway, it's great to have the family back. We're all working hard um, and the students have been absolutely fantastic since they came back. As always, a very brief COVID update, and I am hoping that these will be a thing of the past very soon. Um, certainly, we've had no more cases this week, which is fantastic, and long may that continue. Um, in terms of risk assessments, we're continuing to monitor our risk assessments. It's been fantastic to see some of the PE activities returning this week, and we'll be getting some music activities back. And we're actually planning for the second half of, of the summer term to see if we can get some more uh, enjoyable, fun events for the students um, to get back to normality as quickly as possible. But all of that will be done safely and we won't deviate from the government guidance and our own risk assessments there. Um, in terms of the, the risk assessment and the guidance currently, face coverings are still uh, mandatory inside um, and we will continue to follow this guidance until the government tells us otherwise um, and the one-way system indoors is also still in place. One of the biggest barriers to preventing the spread of COVID is, of course, testing. Um, and certainly for asymptomatic students, um, it's really important that we pick this up whenever, whenever possible. So we are actively encouraging you to continue to test your children twice a week, please, and report that to both the school and the Department for Education. I did send a letter home this week. Um, please do follow the instructions on there. Certainly for year 11 and 13, this is really, really important. We don't want their May assessments being disrupted by an outbreak of COVID and therefore enforced isolation. So please do continue to test. Despite the easings of restrictions, I'm under no illusion that some of our students have indeed struggled with lockdown and we will continue to work with them. Uh, Mrs Garner has put together this fantastic video, which is designed to help you open up discussions about mental health with your children, um, as well as providing an overview about the different ways in which we're educating them and encouraging them to maintain positive mental health. Please do click on that link. Have a look at it and if you've got any concerns whatsoever about your child's mental health or well-being please contact their head of year and we will be able to discuss it further with you and then put some uh, support in place for them some fantastic news to report this week um this was announced over the easter break made nearly trust has been announced as one of only two trusts in the country to be a behavior hub and as a result we are one of only 22 schools in the country um, to be a behaviour hub school as well. It involves us working with other schools to support them on their behaviour and their ethos and their culture. Um, and it recognises the quality of our behaviour approaches across all the schools within the trust and, and of course made an early school as well. Um, it was a really rigorous process and we're thrilled to be able to be part of this and supporting other local schools with regards to behaviour. Um, as part of the Trust Behaviour Hub, as I've mentioned already, we will be uh, the lead school but obviously the credit is shared by all schools within the trust because we adopt a similar approach. Really proud moment and thank you to all the parents who were involved and your support. Important date for the diary. Originally we had Thursday the 1st of July as a CPD day. I apologise for the relatively short notice, but in reviewing our systems to ensure that we are fair and robust with our May assessments um, and our, our centre assess grades that we need to issue for year 11 and 13, we are going to be taking Monday the 7th of June as an inset day instead of Thursday the 1st of July. That will allow us to make sure that all the grades are moderated robustly and make sure that the students get what they deserve. Some other dates for the diary and some other information as well. The Year 7 Parents Evening, a letter has been sent home. This is all online now via our uh, Parents Evening portal. Um, please do take a look at the letter. The M's will have their Parents Evening on Tuesday the 18th of May and the E's will have their Parents Evening on Thursday the 20th of May. With regards to parent pay and school lunches, please do keep your and parent pay account and credit at all times um, and if you've got any concerns about that please do contact the school we've also been made aware of some unwanted behavior towards students this week we've reported this to the pcso and um, this is potentially uh filming students um, just a gentle reminder i suppose to students has been given out in tutor and miss badai has written to you today as well to emphasize this Please do talk this through with your children to make sure they are safe coming through, uh, coming to school and make sure there's a planning place. And if you've got any concerns whatsoever, please do contact us. We take these things extremely seriously. And if we've got any concerns, we will contact the police as we have done already. But there's just some safety tips. Please do discuss them with your child over the weekend and make sure they are safe on their way to school.
that's it for this week, folks. Um, please do stay safe over the weekend. Follow the regulations. The sooner we can get out of this lockdown, the better, As of course, as long as it is done safely. Um, I do hope you do have a great weekend, though. Um, next week, I'll give you some information about the parent surveys, which we've just got the results from. So I'll be doing some analysis on these over the week. But overall, they look incredibly positive. And thank you for all of your support so far this year.